yeah so uh, hello everyone so again welcome to one more session on this uh, smart grid implementation so in this session we'll try to just see first of all what is the status right now the status is uh, we have different uh, devices at different locations and some of them are online and some of them are offline so the online uh, devices are coming in green color and the offline devices are coming in uh, red color and those which are online uh, we can also see what is the voltage current and all this thing and here you can see name and location okay, so at least this part uh, uh, we have seen so today apparently i think uh, four are online and then maybe even yeah most probably only four four are online right now now we started off with uh, a set of uh, assignments uh, in terms of you know assignment one was to create a tabular form of display where there will be serial number name location and then what is the status of the appliance so this part we have finished actually the time so if you go to this link uh, which is uh, this link cms.ith.ac.in so let me uh, show that link so if you go to this link from anywhere so this is right now available online so uh, you will get the latest status okay so the latest status so if i now go to that link is like this uh, the top we have this uh, our earlier cms website and then the status can be seen here now further to this we want to develop a little bit more and then show some uh, plots of the data so the, which is what i am going to try in the next uh, half an hour or 45 minutes okay. so in fact this status itself was generated using this code uh, this code already we discussed uh, one or two sessions earlier just a 35 lines code uh, first we are uh, importing g spread and then other uh, libraries then we are connecting to the whatever uh, google spreadsheet uh, see the data logger is the source data and then test log is the data where we are updating the status and then uh, because we have 28 uh, kits which are uh, which are kind of connected so uh, i am running a for loop for 28 and then reading the id and then getting the last row and then from that extracting the timestamp comparing with the present timestamp finding the difference and if the difference is uh, less than 15 minute then i will say online uh, otherwise i will say status is offline and then uh, based on that uh, thing i am also getting the data from the last row and updating the concerned uh, uh, table so concerned sheet in the table and then finally uh, this is this will sleep for one minute and then again uh, do one more round of uh, reading so this program test underscore spread dot py will will run continuously and as a result uh, we are getting uh, things like this so why does it keep refresh. going back to okay so here we have to refresh yeah so right now uh, four are online okay so uh, let's let's go to the next step so first we need a page where we want to show the plots okay. so let's uh, create that page so for that i am opening the uh, the JavaScript, javascript editor that is at atom which i am using so in that we will go to this particular folder and then uh, copy the status.html and then we'll start working on it so uh, let's create a sample view how it should look like so how i want the thing to look like is that uh, there will be a box and uh, there will be the timestamp and you know uh, timestamp in the right corner whatever is the timestamp then uh, there will be there will be the date uh, or sorry, not date the id id and then uh, student name and uh, and the location okay and then 
there will be another plot inside so here the x axis will be time and then let's say uh, time uh, last uh, let's say 3 hours okay, so we can we can later uh, configure this let's say last 3 hours date is anyway time stamp and date is anyway it's there here so this will be the uh, current time stamp And then the y-axis will be the power. So power may be in watts. So this is our objective to create a some kind of a plot. And so the plot may be like this, some kind of plot like this we want to create. Any questions up till here? Any suggestions? Any ideas? This is what is our objective. Yeah, we need that uh, JavaScript library for that uh, for plotting and all. So let's let's do that. Okay. So uh, so I opened the this thing. So three six two five seven is there here. Status dot HTML is there. Okay. And then uh, I'll close this. Welcome, guide. And this is the entire server. Okay. So, see what I what you are seeing right now is the client side. Okay. So what I can do now is uh, I'll duplicate this. So instead of status, I will say power power dot html. Is that okay? Now. But then, should we hard code the ID itself, or should we send ID? First, we will hard code. Once the plot comes for one ID, then we can. Okay, so let's call this power ten because I'm, I I want to show the power of the device number ten. Okay, so device number ten, if you remember, uh, it is uh, right now it is online, and I think Vipul is. Uh, so, Vipul, how, uh, how long have we been uploading the data? Sir, it has been three hours. Uh, uh, but then there I... was an interruption, right, in between? Yes, sir. There was interruption for one and a half hours. So, I guess the data is available for one and a half hours. Uh, Let's see. From... Let's verify how yeah. it works. And if there's any gap also, we'll see how to handle that. So, but yes. anyway, right now we notice that uh, your power is 38.7. Uh, yes, so right now, you're, what is the equipment? Uh, sir, I have connected LED TV. LED TV, good. So 38.7 watts. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, sir, so let's go. Uh, yeah. What? Sir, there are some observations which I have made uh, based on the power consumption data. Okay. So, sir, if you allow, I would like to share that. Uh, what kind of observations? That is, uh, sir, yeah. when, uh, even when the TV is in off state, still it consumes some power. Then when we connect to some 4K, uh, okay. when then, we see uh, some 4K I, channels, yeah, looks some... like it's interesting. Can you, yeah. I mean, is it in a nice way to you know share your screen and present it, kind of thing? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So I think we'll we'll uh, we'll take a break from what I was doing. So uh, I'll stop sharing my screen. You start sharing and then you can you can describe you know to for everyone what is it? Yes. Yeah. Sir, are you able to see my screen? Uh, most probably yes. Yes, I am able to see your screen. Yes, sir. Sir, this is a current data. So, I have initiated this uh, data capturing from twelve thirty p.m. IST. So, okay. 
so this is the observation which i have made so let me write that here so like right now it is 3 pm yes sir so sir actually what happened is when uh, when the device is in off state but still it is the power is connected uh, the power cable is connected so this is what the consumption is 0.7 watt is the consumption so okay. as soon as we switch on the television so initially the current is very much high see okay. at least it is 320 milliamperes then uh, uh, can you show where is it on on the map also on, on the plot also on the right uh, is it like uh, here in the middle where, where it is uh, very low like said, this one maybe this this part is there sir so no, actually, the power is okay 55 56 okay yeah mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And then there are uh, basically two types of channels which we generally view. So one is standard quality and another is HD channels. So okay. when we go for standard quality channels, so the the power consumption is quite less. So it is in 40 or in the range of 30 to 40 watts, the consumption is there. But when we switch to HD quality channels, so the power consumption goes in the range which I have highlighted here. So it is in 45 watts or, or say 48 watts is the power consumption for that. So can so, you go back? Uh, can you once again confirm for uh, HD how much is the power consumption? Yes, sir. No power consumption. It just can go up. Uh, uh, I'm I'm seeing uh, row number 10 onwards. Yes, sir. Uh, so 41, 42 watts is coming, right? Uh, for for yes, the sir. this thing. Then 39, 42, 39, 39, 40. Okay, so let's say about 42 or 240 uh, on an average. Yes. Sir. Then when you switch to HD channels. Mm -hmm. So HD channels is having the data from 43 watt onwards. This is the HD channel data. Okay. Yeah. This one is the data. But, uh, so is it, is it really a very different thing? Uh, maybe you can once again check it later also. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, do the experiment a little bit more to more time yes yeah, for a larger duration to really verify you know see usually yes, what happens uh, when you touch the led tv uh, mm -hmm. when you touch it from the front or at the back side it will become hot so yes. my assumption is when it is cold maybe it is taking less power and when as it heats up it may take more power so the pattern may also have something to do with uh, uh, something to do with uh, how much time the system was on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So actually, uh, I also tried uh, some variations with related to sound quality and something. So when okay. we, so when we vary the sound, if it is quite low, then power consumption will go by, uh, it it will come lesser by 0.5 watts or something. So there is not much difference to observe, but there is a considerable difference in what the power consumption is there. For example, if we see here, so 40.8 is there then i guess i uh, lowered the volume so somewhat it came like this sir. so this is how the difference is sir. so, so this data is for only is one hour power is increasing is that what you are saying uh, yes sir so, but again uh, one watt two watts is the difference so it ultimately we'll have to uh, uh, validate this with more uh, what you call uh, data Yes, sir, more but, data is required. Yeah, yes. but then this is good. So go to the last row. Is the data still coming? Uh, uh, no, sir. This is uh, I have copied oh, the data. Okay, okay, got it. So okay. data is still coming here, I guess. So this is live data. Okay. So, so good. right now, so, standard quality channels are running. So it is consuming 34 watts. Okay. Yes. Power factor. So even power factor is kind of 0 0.6, 0 0.7, which is not that uh, mm -hmm. good power factor. But uh, yeah, so we yeah because LED TV LEDs are in DC, so it, some kind of so power factor is also an issue here. Anyway, so mm -hmm. good, so. Now, in order to understand this better, we'll have to visualize it. So we'll try to plot it, and then we'll yes. see how it goes. So any questions? Anybody has any doubts? Anybody want to ask based on this? 
Hmm. So not only the set-top box channels, you can also try uh, that uh, connecting to Wi-Fi and you know if it is a smart TV, uh, then uh, how much power does it take in that case? Because now the TV has to actually get the data from Wi-Fi. So will it take more power for? Uh, oh, so you you have done that? Yes, sir. Sir, actually there was not much variation. So sometimes the uh, power consumption went to 33 watts and sometimes it consumed 42 also so okay there was not much difference but sir there was one thing so whenever we view any video on say youtube so if we pause that particular video so there is a two watt power consumption less so this is some some variation so, so, that's really so, so when you pause, pause the video the Power consumption is reducing by two watts. Okay. Yes, sir. So that's what I mean. Uh, imagine without having this kit, can you do all this kind of analysis? No, sir. So now, now that we have installed a kit, now we are getting new ideas how to what to study and how to uh, this one and all that. So, mm -hmm. good. Yes, so, yeah. anybody wants to ask a question? OK, so uh, feel free to ask a question in case you are attending. So let's continue. Uh, I think I'll go back to sharing my screen. Yes, sir. OK, so I'm sharing my screen. And then, uh, yeah. So uh, again, if you have any doubt, uh, uh, please do ask. See, right now I am editing this power 10.html, so which was copied from status. So uh, whatever happens before this uh, script and all these things, you don't worry. So right now we have body, then a container called uh, div called container and div called row. And then, OK, so this is all uh, heading. So this also will not disturb. And uh, this is the menu. So this also will not disturb. And finally, here there is an iframe uh, from Google Doc. Okay? So this iframe, I'll delete. Okay? So for all practical purposes, so here, let's, let's say a paragraph. Hi, uh, this is an empty page. So I'm just uh, adding a. Uh, matter in the HTML. But this HTML I'm editing in the on the server side. So I have to send over this file to the client or whoever requests it. So for that, I need to go to the server. And in this server, I need to add the uh, function to send this file. So I'll have to search for it now. Up. OK. So let me search for status. So I three found. So this is a global But this will be same or it will be changing. Ah, so here is the status.html. So I copy this uh, line and now instead of status, now I'll say power 10. And then send file power 10. So that's it. Now I have to restart the server. So sh shall I say like this? Restart one. Restart zero. Huh, so the ID is zero. Okay. So restart zero. Okay. Looks like uh, it is online. Now I go to the client and then I open uh, that uh, link. CMS 
slash 6257 status. Instead of status, now I'll call power10.html. So here you can see this message. Hi, this, this is an empty page. So whatever comes above is just uh, basically the heading. So I don't worry about it. For all practical purposes, now I'm able to create this empty page. So at this stage, I would like uh, somebody else to share their screen. So who wants to share your screen? Yes, sir. Just to, share, sir. So again, Vipul only wants to share. OK. Uh, yeah, so you go ahead and sh share your screen. In the chat box, I have pasted a link. You just open that link on your uh, system. Yes, sir. Just to prove that uh, I have edited the file in Hyderabad. And right now, you are viewing the file from uh, uh, Nagpur. So uh, now you are opening uh, that particular link. Uh, and here you can see this is an empty page. Okay? So now uh, I'll, I'll make a small edit here. Instead of uh, this is an empty page, I'll just add one more paragraph under that. Okay, so I think BR. But we will soon add some content here. Yeah, so uh, Vipul, can you refresh your page? Yes, sir. So again, you got a message here. Uh, we are able to do that. So not only Vipul, uh, anybody else wants to share your screen just for the fun of it? Yes, sir, I can share. OK, so just go ahead and share your screen, Divyanshi. So can you see my screen? Um, uh, yes. So can you open a open a browser, and you can. Okay, you already opened it. Okay, so I'll just may add one more line. Uh, this is the third line. Just refresh your screen. So again, a, yeah. yeah. So now uh, next step we'll do. Let's try to uh, make a plot. And so for that, I need to, yeah. So I need to refer to. Uh, okay. Uh, let's, let's get it from our uh, A block uh, thing only. I think because since the server already has it. Okay, so I now I'll uh, thank you, Divyanshi and uh, people. Now I will share my screen again. So uh, after sharing my screen, I would like to show one uh, page. So if you go to cms.its.ac.in and uh, uh, if you go down to real time or real time data under IIT Hyderabad, so you will be getting the real time data here. So right now the power consumption is 283 watts. Uh, in the economic block A, and then a lot of uh, data you're able to see. And below, we have a power consumption of economic block A. So one uh, chart is there. Okay? So same way, x-axis is time, and uh, y-axis is the power. But this, this is in kilowatts. So anyway, so let's try to recreate this. Okay? So I think we, we will refer to this. So the file name is realtime.html. So just for uh, reference, I will open that file. So I'll say control O. Let's. And uh, I go back to the real time. Okay, no. IATH and real. Real dot yeah. So this is the file. Now if I go down, first let me look at the scripts what, what I am using. So there is one jQuery script and then chart.js. I think this is the one that we, that we require. So let's take this chart.js. So I'm just copying this. And I'll come back to our file power 10 and then go to the top and uh, look here. So, huh, so this is already there. Chart.js is already there, so no problem. 
It should not have been there because there's no charge. But anyway, so uh, it's already there. Good. Uh, then, uh, I mean, of course, P5 we are not using. All these things we are not using. Now let's go down to the uh, this one, total power consumption. So. Huh. So here, uh, so I think this is the this is the place where we are uh, creating a chart. Okay. So here you are having this is under the script. Okay, um, var my chart two equal to document dot get element by id my chart two and get context two d. So this is all plot data variable. Uh, data and all these things. So one one five twenty. I think this is the default data, and then uh, there is some uh, coloring and all these things, and then uh, this is the function which which we are uh, using. Ha. Huh, okay, okay. This one I think last one. So but anyway, let's let's copy this part now. So I think. Uh, uh, this one, I, I have kept my cursor here so that it will show where it ends. Yeah, so here it is ending. So I'll take. So this two I'll take from here and go to my power HTML and insert that after all the divs and before the end of body. So here the scripts yeah. can be added. So I think I should need a script tag here. Yes. And then down I keep ending of the script tag. Now one more thing we are doing in this is uh, document ID my chart 2 we are referring to. So that should be there here. So here, I this is empty page, and then soon add some content. So I think uh, between these two, I will add that uh, uh, element. Okay. So how it is added? So let's again go back to this, and then uh, I'll search for this. Ah, so we there is a canvas being created. So I'll take this canvas, come back to our uh, this thing, and let's define slightly lesser width. 600 and height to be only 300 just for so that it is easy to visible okay next what else is needed so again i'll go back so okay this is just a variable this one huh, so this also is needed so plot data variable needs to be there huh, so this one dot data dot data sets of zero dot data equal to total power so something anyway we will we will we'll, uh, we'll figure out what it is so again i'll go back to this one and then i will it's a part of the script i believe here so when this particular uh, new chart function runs it will uh, create a chart and then plot data variable needs to be there so I'll just see the console log of this because we we are printing something right in that. Yes. Ah, so here the data is being data is there here. Mm. So I think uh, whatever is the data, it will. I just console logging and taking into a variable. Sir. So that is being assigned into the plot variable. That is a total power. Okay. And it is being assigned to the plot uh, underscore to the variable. Okay. And that is being plotted. I think we have a sample uh, data, right? Uh, we'll we'll just. Uh, mm. just uh, can we just give an array, or yes. uh, will it work? 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, 0. Again, 50. Some data I'm giving, but I don't know whether this will work. Let's let's just check the function again. 
Ha, so it has to be like a structure like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is not required actually. Already we are defining, right? Uh, yeah, so that, that was, we are defining, but the data should be in the form of a structure. Ha, so here, here, uh, here the data should be. So I have just given the data. Semicolon is not written. Uh, again, uh, anybody getting a doubt, you please stop me and ask me to explain that you are not able to follow what I am trying to do. I think we have everything. Okay, so let's. One more line is there. What line? One more line on that one. Okay. That, that one plot data set. Plot variable dot data dot data sets. Huh, this is just. Uh, Assigning the total Assigning total the data. Values. See, uh, right now, default, it, this data is assigned, right? But One. data plot should come. Ha, it, it should come. Uh, so. OK, timestamp is not defined as this one. OK. So what is not defined? Timestamp. OK, so let me go to this. I think let's, let's show that uh, uh, error also to these people. So what I have done, uh, again, to re re refresh you, so what you are seeing right now is the HTML file. In that HTML file, I have uh, added between the uh, three lines and the third position, I've added a chart canvas. And then uh, I'm uh, creating a variable and then assign hard coding a variable and then giving some uh, this thing. So power consumption, instead of academic block A, I will say power consumption of uh, device ID number 10. So first let's plot with a sample data and then we will see how to change. Uh, I think we need to update the, no. nothing needs to be updated. Nothing from the server. Okay. okay. So let's, let's go to our, uh, our page. Yeah, this is our page, this is an empty page. Now I'll refresh. So here there's a gap, canvas is being, being created, but uh, uh, plot is not coming. So let's see what is the this one. Yeah, timestamp, line number, uh, sorry, line number 75, there is a problem. Okay. So line number 75, what is the problem? Huh, so this timestamp is not uh, available. Yeah. So how is it defined? Let's let's. Uh, Timestamp will be extracted. Timestamp of i is equal to data of i dot t stamp dot six. Okay. Okay. So timestamp we can just define it. As so basically, it's like a string, right? Yes. Uh, okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. So what I will do, I'll just go to uh, one of the uh, this thing, and I'll get the timestamp from here for id ten. I'll just get this right now. Assuming the timestamp is just not a string, huh? not in this page. This is real dot html. You have to edit it in power ten. Yeah, power ten. So here, I'll just uh, let's see. Uh, is it working? Okay. So let's again go back to. Uh, our page and then refresh. So this time slightly bigger uh, thing is coming. Probably there might be another error. Okay, ticks not taken. Okay, so this is the error which is coming from the Charges. From the chart JS. Okay, so power 10, line 131. Okay, so the error is coming uh, from here. So plot data variable need to be have something. So we have a plot data variable. First type is a line type. Data, we have labels. Okay. And then uh, remove the comma in between that. Let's do one thing, Charan. I'll go back here. 
let's plot the console log the timestamp and then see what exactly it comes so that we can keep that it's already there sir console log timestamp from data and minus ha but this will take only the last timestamp i think mm -hmm. client received data with the latest mm -hmm. timestamp as okay so let's look at that in uh, our real uh, real dot html page this one right mm -hmm. and uh, here uh, i might have ha huh. client received data with latest timestamp as this one mm -hmm. but then the timestamp itself might have multiple maybe we have sliced it sir you see we have uh, sliced it uh, see if i if i if i just repeat this line you know if you go up sir there was a timestamp slicing ha huh. so this the slicing one. is fine so that is there in the loop so timestamp will contain the array and we are just printing the length minus 1 of timestamp if you print complete timestamp then it will be different ha huh, that's what i am going to print correct mm -hmm. so uh, data with the okay i'll remove latest timestamp and then simply say timestamp as mm -hmm. and then here i'll just simply console log the entire timestamp okay so let's see what it prints so now i have to simply refresh this so first it will come yeah so here you can see uh, i have to go no, up no no go down the plot is not at loaded okay okay yeah plot is not at loaded it will take a bit of time for i just want to refresh it once we'll wait for the plot to be loaded and then we will see what what kind of data is there in the uh, what you call this uh, time stamp so based on that we'll come to know what kind of data to provide in our time stamp or is it simply ticks it's just ticks i think we'll do that if by the time this thing comes we we'll go back and do that so there is some again some problem no no this is not related to us okay. so let me go back to uh, see here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 data points so let's give eight labels okay. so so 1 two, 3 4 5 so basically we have to just simply keep debugging like this at, uh, until the time we finally find you know what is the error and then finally it will it will kind of eventually work okay so i'll save this i think still the plot is not loaded it also is not coming okay so in this also not coming ha so now we got the data see uh, device number 10 okay. i think uh, we shall we reduce the width yeah, see remember uh, i had given so instead of 400 i think uh, here the y axis i'll reduce can we give auto or something like that canvas maximum text we can uh, can i simply ignore this okay so anyway here for the time being i'll give 100 Okay. and refresh this so here can you see the data now it starts coming so 10 20 30 40 50 then suddenly 100 then 0 then 50 and then finally 40 so whatever data i am giving i am able to see the plot here right now so now our next job will be to provide the data to this particular variable so instead of this data the default data i'll change the data here and uh, 
provide a different set of data. Okay, so okay, so I think I have to give the this thing the the correct address of it actually. So now uh, I will do some kind of a triangular wave. So 100, 50, 100, 50, 100, 50, 100, 50. Okay. So just some, just for fun, I'm giving kind of a triangular wave. So just if I refresh here, so again, I mean, it looks like sine wave because it is trying to make it a, like a, what you call, curved plot. But you get the idea. So whatever data I define here, so that data I can plot it here. So uh, now again at this stage, uh, so let me remove this empty page and then uh, content all that thing. So I'll just go up here, remove this, and remove this empty page, remove the third line. In real dot HTML console spelling is mistake. In the real dot HTML? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. It was in five forty three line. Five forty three. Oh, okay, okay. That was the uh, error. Huh? Yeah. But now we, we came to know what is the this yes. thing. Okay, here the plot is coming and. Uh, yeah, so, okay, the timestamps are these, actually, the whatever time. So this we can handle, actually. Mm. Good. So anyway, so let's come back to our uh, plot. Huh? Yeah, so now anybody wants to try? So uh, anybody wants to share your screen? Is there anybody seeing this on, on phone, on mobile phone? Anybody from this? Are you seeing this on a mobile phone? No, sir, on laptop. Okay, Sushant, then uh, can you can you share your screen and uh, go to this link which is in the chat box? Just we'd like to see how it looks from your your end. I'll stop presenting. Yeah, so. Already, uh, we have a view on the phone. It looks like this on the phone. Let me change the data. Yes, sir. Yeah, anybody sharing your screen? Uh, sir, I guess Shushan, Shushan is sharing screen. OK, I think. Uh, no, no, you can share. I'm having problems. Okay, okay. Sir, I will try. Yeah, anybody. Anybody is fine. Unlock it. Yeah, so this is how we are able to see at our end right now. Okay, so. Yeah, so yes, now we are seeing the screen from uh, Fani Ram, okay. Uh, Fani Ram, I believe is, okay, he's in Hyderabad only, okay. Yeah, so shall I change the data? Just keep showing your uh, plot, uh, Fani. Uh, Fani, keep okay, the, uh, what is that, uh, keep the link open. Yeah, so I'll change the data, you can refresh, uh, just a minute. So. Instead of a triangular wave, let me make a square wave kind of thing. So let's see how it uh, comes. Where is our data? Oh, this is power. OK. Here we edit. it. So uh, I'll say 50, 50, 80, 80. Again, 50, 50, 80, 80. 
So let's see, uh, just refresh. Yeah, so here again, you can see 50, 50 again going to 80, 80 and so on. So now the next task is to create this uh, uh, data. So uh, again, um, uh, Fariram, can you open that uh, data logging sheet? And that in that you can go to ID 10. Yeah, I think that that should be fine. So and then you can go to the OK, so this is the plot, right? So if you go to the bottom, the new rows are being added. So let's try to get some uh, rows from that. Okay. So uh, anyway, up to here, anybody has any questions? Any questions from anybody up till here? Sir, can we can we add current timestamp on x-axis? So that we yes. get a so we have to extract the timestamp from the data source, and also we'll have to extract the parameter from the data source, and then we have to plot it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's let's go to our. Uh, I will start sharing my screen now. Now, if I go to the earlier, that real time uh, sheet, here, there is uh, how I'm getting the data that I want to just verify once. So if I go this, this one, sockets, yeah, this we are using sockets, right? Sockets, and this is uh, actually loading into, uh, from the database. Yes. Using. So we are getting the data from the database. Yes. See, variables to get A block total power data. So first plot data, socket is io.connect total power, total power two, all these things are there, right? So now, uh, now I have to, uh, I have to find a way in which the JavaScript program should uh, receive the data. Okay? So, and we have to send the data from the server side and the client should receive the data because right now what you're seeing is the client. Okay, so client is receiving this data. And then it is taking what? It is uh, extracting the total power into 0.5 math. And OK, this this anyway we are not using, I think. And then the timestamp and all this. And then finally, after once receiving this, uh, I think I keep the cursor here. Where does that end? OK, so the entire, uh, this whole thing is inside that. Yes. Uh, this thing okay so i think we we know what to do now next so let's let's go to this we 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 use socket only uh, the our server is in uh, javascript right so our javascript can connect connect to our local uh, let's do one thing from this python everything on the client side i want to Oh, you want to do everything from the client side, the client side rather than again touching the server. So this is what I'm saying. Okay. So there is a Jax, uh, jQuery script. Okay. So we have loaded, and these are the different functions for draw cell, draw row, draw table, and then uh, in the no, that is, that part is okay. Uh, we just need the data, right? So yeah, this uh, is a data So this is a spreadsheet. Okay. Here we do our sheet ID. Okay. But uh, how secure is it? Uh, can we can we keep the uh, details on the client side and then uh, if somebody can read this, then it will be again. Yeah, the client side, that is a problem. Security wise, it, it will be an issue. Yeah. Then we have to. I think we have a separate code. So last time we had tried once on JavaScript. Okay. That was getting data from the database, right? No spreadsheet. Okay, so but on the socket side, I think the failure happened last week. In this folders only somewhere we had kept on the notes. Okay, okay. A new server, I think that is. Okay, so here basically everything is coming in the form of data, data and then, and then uh, uh, what we are doing data, data underscore length. Okay, okay, data of i dot total p. Okay, okay. So this we can we can actually work it out. So there is one more code for in Node.js for reading the data. 
Node JS can read from the yeah. spreadsheet. Yes. Okay. So when shall the request comes. There is a you know sir, we have already written somewhere in the folders and something last class. Ha. Ah, okay. One demo we are written. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's try to find that. Yeah. So I'll go to this Control O, and then. Uh, Um, I go to the back to go to the board status. Um, okay, that is a board status. So just uh, bear with us. I am trying to find the file for it. This one board status dot js. No, I think this one. That is eighth April two thousand nineteen. Uh, server SSD data update MCM. Okay, this is the recent one. Uh, just go to another folder. Sir. Should I try this? Google Sheet Read. Yeah, a server dot JSON. Ah, uh, a server dot JSON. Twenty four November. Yes. And appliance data dot JSON. Uh, Those are all required. Just open the JSON. Let's see this console log whether it is working or not. Because ID and. Ah, uh, Google mentioned. spreadsheet and sheet numbers two five. Yeah. Uh, this is what we had uh, developed voltage so, data. Uh, just see that console log LRO is working on this by running this in the terminal. Okay. Okay. So again, let me uh, do that. I'll change the directory to desktop codes Google Sheet Read. Oh, that's it. Uh, now I'm on the desktop. In CD codes, twenty point codes. No, no, uh, Google spreadsheet. Okay, no so here I have. Yes. One second. Oh. Clear. Yes. Yeah, I find. What was that? LS. So I'm just uh, okay. I'm just running to check whether that is working. Console log L row works, then we will start sending the tell row. Basically, to get the last row. See, so far there's no error message, so probably I think it will, it should work. Mm. Just wait for a minute. So, what are we doing in this? Nothing, sir. Just uh, taking. Okay, okay. Uh, that won't work. Oh, this is server, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm opening it. That we'll have to. I, I'll open it because it should come host. in this. What is 3000? Uh, local host column 3000. Uh, so, this is what we have run it for some time. Yeah, some time. Uh, yeah. But now, uh, just see on the server terminals. If the terminal, the data comes. Okay. Uh, it's coming, right? Uh, so the data is coming. Now so here sheet. we are getting timestamp, voltage, current from which sheet? I think every sheet, every I think sheet whatever we have given. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think then we will use, uh, but we don't need all the server and things like this from here. Right? So for the time being, let's use this server only and send to the port and HTML. Or else you can shift all these into the new server because rather than disturbing our original. See, this IO socket will anyway connect. So mm -hmm. from here we can we can do that. Mm -hmm. See IO. So the earlier ones are anyway. Anyway, let's compare. This is on the yeah. server side, right? There is so, nothing in this. Just saying that rather than completely disturbing this. See, IO is there, server is there, app is there, everything is there, right? Mm -hmm. So it will directly work. So I'll go back here. We'll start from here. Mm -hmm. Moment is also there. Moment will be there. Yeah. Okay. So let's start directly from uh, 
from uh, but i think you have to copy the application appliance data dot json file yeah so one two mm -hmm. credentials okay this and one, uh, will be changed in the power plan html this function need to be written yes that's already written so we don't no, have function is not written so set time out function is not there uh that index dot html okay get data function and then it will get the data uh, this function will copy it so i'll just get these two variables into our server yeah we have to get it to our server right yes. okay so should we should we do it towards the end on the top one is on the variables definition we can have. Ah, but these are all okay so let's do it there only after it starts listening so here basically what we are saying is uh, okay. that power can html you can so uh, server will uh, link to the spreadsheet mm. to get the data okay now this uh, dot slash appliance data we have to copy so let's do that okay cp let's do Space. now uh, i have to say home let's have a glab desktop codes codes server 7 server underscore 7 small underscore 7 uh, underscore one more underscore seven. This one, right? No, uh, no. no. Underscore two seven zero five, sir. Okay, underscore two seven zero five. There, that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like uh, there's no folder again, right? Uh, no, 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 sir. Okay. On the outside, so okay, so that file is there. So this this line will work. Mm -hmm. So sixteen is over, seventeen is over. Let's come back to this server. So just copy that set time out function. Okay. So this function, okay. Request and result, okay. So I'll go to uh, our server and go to power 10. Power 10. Okay. And here I have to add after that semicolon. Okay. Instead of get data, should we call some other name function? Data hmm. No, just simply read ID ten data hmm. or get ID ten data. So uh, I am writing this function. So that means whenever this page is loaded, Power Ten dot HTML page, whenever it is loaded, the page will load, and also after one millisecond, uh, this or uh, after one second, this function will run. Get the data. Th this this function will ask will, will make the server connect to the spreadsheet and get the data. And after getting the data, the data will be sent to the client, uh, side. client side using the socket. So that's it. So get this function now we have to create. So for that, again, we'll go back here. This function is there. OK, so line this is required. This is the same sheet. Uh, OK, credits is defined. And then sheet number will hard code to 10 for uh, this for getting the the constraints. Just copy everything, so then we will edit. So this whole function, where is it? Up to here, mm. line forty-one. Oh, this is completely independent. Okay, so no problem. Copy, go to the ten, and then uh, in the server side. Ah, oh, sorry, server side. I think we'll put it nearby here only. So for the time being, we'll just say Where did you change the name of the 
there is go go okay okay this function should go bottom sir uh, i think the part in html was there in the bottom okay so go down sir. shall we also take the no. this things everything near to that uh, no variable definition okay variable definition so we can take the bottom oh, sorry there we have defined the function Get so time, before or after after this okay so let's see hmm. uh function name should be changed so i'll copy this change the name of the function and then change it to only id 10 one minutes not 10 call you put one sir why so here uh, it will take uh, that is sheet number not the sheet id Sheet oh okay count. sheet number okay yeah. but it's given in the form of a string right uh, yes anyway so for x, x equal to 0 to sheet number length x plus plus get rows uh, okay we are getting all the rows where uh, l row is equal to length let's minus 1 uh, let's get the last 10 or 20 rows okay for the time being let's keep it last row uh, then uh, last row code name what is this number that is not required That time we have tried that for sending as a sheet ID and all we thought of sending. No, that is not required. We are going to send only the timestamp and this. So this line is not required. You are no. saying? Ah, uh, okay, code. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. So console log it will do, and then uh, socket set will emit. Mm -hmm. Okay, instead of voltage data, let's call it uh, ID ten uh, data, and the data is L row. And L row will be in the form of uh, like a JSON object. JSON. Okay, good. So again, everybody, are you are you able to follow what I am trying to do? So now we'll come to the client side. Receive this data. Sort it out. For receiving, I have to again refer to real dot HTML and. Complete function on, and then this function goes. This function has to okay uh, cover all the function length there. Data length, hmm. data length. So here we are extracting power and then uh, doing all that. Plot data equal to data of total p. See on the socket only we are just writing something. We have to just take the data. Uh, in the last we will add to this uh, whatever to L row yeah. plus into data. That's it. So okay. Ah, that will automatically get assigned. Yeah. So the L row will come here, and then from that we will get the keys, number of keys. Sir. In our data we will add the data length is there. Data length is for just finding the data. Yeah. The everything is contained in the data itself. So okay, I think we'll just get okay. I'll I'll tell you what. So I'll go here to power ten, and then this whole script will be inside that. Yes. But this variable will be outside chart two variable. Yes. Because this this plot data variable will be there. No problem, sir. Even uh, like if we paste there also, we'll close the brackets in the bottom. The complete sorted brackets will close at the bottom. Instead of a block history, we will uh, name that. I think we already named it, right? I'll go yeah. to the server. Uh, this one, and then come to the client, and yes. then paste it here, yeah. and, and then, then everything will be same, and the data. Here the data is already duplicated. I think we have termed here. So what I'll do is first I'll I'll find the where this thing is ending. Plot data is ending. After that we can end. So then uh, the here changing of data. So this may be redundant. Yes. Uh, this new chart we need to include in the plot variable data. So here the function is ending and then the this thing is ending. Semicolon. Semicolon will be here, right? Mm. 
not after uh, after also there will be a semicolon so because there after flower bracket it's not required no after flower bracket it's not required sir flower bracket close bracket and this okay okay this line i will comment out okay so basically we, i need to replace the time stamps and uh, power values so first let's console the data whether it is coming or not okay so so here console dot uh, just console dot log of data even this also is not required mm. that is not required sir. So here I will say client receive. Okay, so save it. Server is also changed. So save it. Then go to terminal and uh, here I will restart the process. Current process list running is not in sync with saved list. PM to restart. I think, okay, it's fine. So let's go to this thing. Refresh. Bad gateway to sync. Enter CMS is down. Yes. Enter CMS is not coming. Okay. Uh, I just put uh, PM2 was found zero. Stop. Yeah. Now go to the path and run with node. In which path we are? Path. Why? Uh... Uh, it will give the error. Sir. I think on server side, if error is there. Oh, okay, okay. Because uh, server is not loading, that means somewhere there is. Home desktop. No, no, no. Home SG lab server. No, desktop. Codes. Server underscore server underscore two seven zero. Seven underscore uh, code, I think. Seven underscore after seven. This. No, underscore. Yeah. Enter. No space. Server and CM means underscore two. Underscore two. Yeah. Okay, we are looking for this error message. Cannot find module Google spreadsheet. So oh, node module is missing. Okay, okay. So is there something like uh, node installing uh, npm? Ah, npm install Google spreadsheet. Good, it's working. <laughs> mm. Yeah, almost we are uh, about five more minutes is left. So just run again. Okay, good site is running now. So refresh. Main site is socket is not defined. Var no, there's an error here. Google spreadsheet is not a constructor. I think something else also need to install. Yeah, I think we need to. Uh, go to this a.js. No, no, in the node modules of this. Ah, this one require Google yeah, yeah. We have done that. Dot appliance. One more npm install is required. What is that? I'm just checking it. So we were at uh, 
Google Sheet related. Package dot. No, not the, about into not modules. Uh, use this. What? All these things. No, so let me use this Google APS. What about this? Uh, This one is go up, go up, go up. This is the new this one is not working. Yeah, that's not working. I think we'll search this error message. Mm. So I'll go to this. The error message we got was uh, type error is not a constructor. So whenever you get an error, you can always search with that error message. You will know what to do. So if I go down, three ans. OK, so I think this is what no, we no, need no. to do. Yes. NPM install Google spreadsheet. Two point zero point six. Okay, I hope these two will not. Uh, mm. uh, looks like some nice design has come. So you just run again. Sir. Same thing. No, no, our node. Ah, okay, node. I'll wait. Uh. No error message. Mm. Data is coming. Mm. So now here the sorted need to be defined. So the data is showing as NAN. So which sheet are we reading? Which sheet are we reading here? Um, We are we are getting the data, but we are reading in a different. Uh... What is that? Uh, you can just copy that time, sir. Yeah, paste it. In. Copy. Okay, let's search. So will I be able to search in all uh... data loggers? Yes. So I have to open data logger first. Data underscore logger. Underscore logger. Control F. So just uh, just press uh, ID nine. So it's... Uh, it should be uh, either one this side or one that side. Uh, last row is nan. No sir. Uh, if it th that number is there, it will find us. It's not that number. No, just control that. It's a go to control F. Okay, control F. And control V. And go to ID 11 once. Click um, on ID on that side. So it is not there. Not there. Not there. Okay, what order it is taking? It's one second search, sir. Yes, sir. When we click on the sheet, it will search. Can we, is there a way to print the sheet name? See, uh, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means it should be 11. By the way, what about 10? We'll see. 10, we are getting data. Uh, in the 10, it is there. Okay. So in the 10, it is there? Uh, okay. Yeah. Ah, the it's, it's not coming now. I think our, our thing is correct only. Yeah. So we have to ask uh, Vipul now. Vipul, are you there? Hello. Vipul? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So your your data stopped because uh, when so I open the sheet is not capturing data currently. The device is on only, but uh, sheet is not capturing data. Okay. 
So let's let's get some other uh, data. So let's look at the status. Again, everybody is offline. At least somebody should keep it online. Sir, mine is online, I think. Vipul, sir. Uh, sir, in one minute, I can connect. Just one minute. Oh. Okay. I hope I'm not boring you people. Just six. Six, six means eight we will yeah, we'll yeah. read here. OK, so I go back to this. I, I just purposely wanted to make you sure that this, what we are hiding at the back, the complexity. So let's keep this as 10. Sir, I have connected it. OK, so here I'll say eight. No node is not required, so we can just do it with the PM2. Just control C this. and. Uh, I think it should work. PM2 might be already there. I go to this. PM2 research it. Yes. OK. So uh, but I want to see in the, uh, OK, anyway. We, oh, okay, we gave okay. console log, right? Uh, yes. Okay, then I think uh, stop with the PM2 and then. No, I, I think we'll let's look here in this. Uh, in this, the socket error is there, sir, on the client side. Socket definition error is there. Okay. So, should I stop here? Yes, PM2 to stop. stop no, no. And no. then go here. Yeah, so uh, what is the latest? OK, so here we are getting uh, power is 5.4 watts. Divyansh, is that correct? 5.4 watts? Yes, sir, only a, and bulb is connected. LED bulb is connected. OK, 241.1 and uh, current is 0 0.05, 5.4 watts. Power factor is 0.47. OK, so anyway, we are that mm -hmm. part is OK. Now from the, now, from OK, so power 10 here. Uh, that sorted definition, sir. What definition? Socket to receive. That is not defined, I think, something. Socket to receive data for plot. OK. Uh, I think we have to. Uh, Just drop once. That definition. Oh, OK. Obviously. So refresh. OK. Yes, sir, so let's look at the console log. OK, good. So we are almost uh, okay. up to the client. We got the data. Now we have to put this data into the plot. OK, so let's read some more records. OK, last uh, five records or last yes. 10 records or something. So how do we read more records? So for that, we need to go back to server, I think, right? Yes. So on the server side, instead of reading only the last row, where L row equal to rows dot length minus one. OK, so here can we give like a two colon kind yes. of thing, something like that? Yes. So length, this will be the last one. Mm. And then can we give colon? Uh, yes. I don't know. Colon. JavaScript, it will work. Yes. Minus uh, 20. Yes. Last 20 rows. Okay, so this colon is not working. Okay, so just a little bit of verification. Java script array. Sub comma. Comma. Mm -hmm. Slice is there. How to get sub array from array? Get sub array. From index to index. Mm. Comma is there. Oh, okay, okay. That was slice only yes. Slice one comma three plus one. Slice means cutting. One as the end index is not included. Start sub array is there, Jaren. 
sub array 2 comma minus 2 1 comma minus 1 what is the output okay. go to real servers real dot html not it will be rows dot sub array and then here length minus 20 cut comma length itself let's see if sub array works hmm, looks like it's working What happened? So we are almost 95% done. So just give me 10 more minutes. Uh, we'll be able to. Okay. Okay. Thinking that uh, only there. I think we may only we may be only taking the last one. No, no, no not the last one. There in the query we might have. Subbar is not a function. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think the problem is with this. Array dot slice you try so dot slice of instead of in the place of subarray you just write slice. Array dot slice. Oh okay, he has created a function here. Yes. And then yeah. extension and to array. Instead of that, you just put slice. Okay, slice uh, start uh, and then yes. this dot length plus one minus and end into minus one. Yeah. For us the only the slice is required. Okay. So row dot slice, right? Mm. And the same thing? Yes. Last to this to this. Mm. Okay. So let's see. Looks like it's working now. Uh, Yeah, my ex the data also so data also came uh, here. Yeah, I also got the data. Good. Mm -hmm. So not only the last row, now we are getting last 20 rows. Okay, so let's instead of 20, let's make it uh, last 100 rows to make the sheet mm -hmm. look good. So let's go back here. I'm sorry, atom. And let's make it last 100 rows, assuming that 100 rows is available. Then uh, the data will come to the client. And once the data comes to the client, what we have to do? Exactly. Here we are doing console log. We have to separate the power values and the timestamp values. Okay. So how do we do that? Uh, data dot power value. Let me just check here. Okay. So this is the entire thing is data, right? Yes. Uh, so power W and time is required for us. Time and power w. Okay. Dot power w you will take into one variable. So data dot power w and data dot time. Let's see whether this works. Client received uh, time and power. Just refresh. Undefined. What is undefined? Ah, here I can verify now. Nah? So one minute. I'll go back. These two lines I'll comment out for the time being. And then here I'll make it uh, just console log data. Then I'll come here and uh, refresh this. And then here uh, I'll open this. Zero. Oh, there is a number also, Charan. Yeah. There, there is a. We have to keep a loop and then. Uh, ah, ah. So that number yeah. loop is already there, I think. No, loop is not there on the client side. Oh, for plotting. Okay. Yeah. So then, how do we do that? Uh, we have to copy the loop from the in the real itself. It is there. Just copy that loop. 
Why here it's saying D zero? It may be the the first one. Okay, that may not be relevant for us. So let's come back. Uh, the after receiving the data. Okay, now we are extracting the data. I think this is just data length. I think the spelling is not correct. So mm -hmm. data dot length and then uh, and this one. Total of the, we have to write power to power We have to initialize, I think. No, not at all. We had done that before. Yeah. Timestamp. Yes. So we are initializing with MT and then uh, okay, it's not, uh, and then here we have to say total power power parse float data dot i here uh, power power w this line is not not required I think that was for a random plot this one we'll not, we'll not convert it right away we'll just uh, do it with uh, mm. the other one only. Yeah. So simply I'll equate it to time. Time. That's it. Data dot yeah, data, data dot i dot time. Okay. Now these two variables are there. So now this total power this data. will go here. And then the labels will go here, comma. Um, I think I call it TS. Yeah. Then here I'll call it TS. Save, and refresh. So here we are expecting a last. Uh, no, why only twenty points are coming? The server is not restarted. Okay, so let's uh, restart the server side. So now we should get hundred data points. Yeah. So. Uh, it's coming, but. Uh, yeah. I think let's are. let's. Uh, is there any way to auto auto correct the y axis for the time being let's make it um, on the client side atom client side divyanshi divyanshi are you there yes sir okay so your led is about 5 watts so yes, i am keeping the, keeping the axis as 10 can you switch off your uh, light Yes, sir. Yeah. So I think everybody now can see. Uh, once she switches off the light, uh, maybe in a in a minute or so, the this this plot will go to zero. So right now we have it's, uh, now it's already going to zero. So it's it's not device ID number ten. It is a uh, basically ID number six. Six. Thought of yeah. six. The paragraph also have to change, right? Or you save it, sir. I think it only one place it is there, sir. Okay. Yeah. So now, if you see, uh, in fact, we don't even have to refresh it, right? Or no, we have to refresh it. Uh, okay, it's because there in the time we did not uh, do that. Yeah. So uh, now, can you see uh, in uh, in the secondary pad, Divyan she is switching off her light. And in Jammu and Kashmir, Balram can see that status online by visiting this link. So this is what we have achieved uh, today. Okay. So uh, I, I mean, I know that it was a little bit uh, complicated for you guys to immediately realize. So Divyanshi, please switch on. Yes, sir. Okay. So we are waiting for the data to switch on.
so you uh, people can visit this link and you can actually uh, check on your uh, phone also so uh, we had defined an objective to create a plot with the data and now that objective has been achieved last 100 data points i am able to plot okay you can say what about the x axis we are getting the epoch time here but if you want to actually get the real time stamps that also is possible uh, we can get it we can we will have to move into that Sh uh, shall we try that once just go to real ones comment definition go down go down Okay. So here I think the timestamp will be proper. Okay. So control F. Uh, oh. It's not there in this. I think we did not. Uh, I mean Python. We have done that. Maybe. Yeah. So anyway, I think we'll just uh, update it shortly. So for the time being, we will. Uh, we are right now getting the real time data of ID number six. Uh, and the same thing can be done for all. See here, power 10. Of course, we have to change it to uh, 6 here. But we can create separate IDs for everyone. And you can see all their uh, past uh, 100 data points means maybe past uh, one hour, uh, one and a half hour data maybe. Because we are collecting one data point per minute. Or... Refresh it. I am refreshing. Did you again switch it off? Oh, you, you are going off. Yeah, I have connected different load. That's why. Well. Then I have to change the y axis. How yeah. Much is it? So, like it's a 2000 watt iron is there. Okay, okay. So, hold on. So, 2000. So, I'll, I'll go down. See, because right now it is 2000, it's going off the chart. Because my y axis, I kept only 10. So, instead of that, now I'll keep it 2100. Okay. So, now if I refresh, so hopefully yeah so 21 it's slightly below 2000 so uh, the data is about uh, 1890 1888 something like that so good so we are getting that data also so everything is working seamlessly the kit is in uh, one city it is recording the equipment and sending the data to google spreadsheet from google spreadsheet uh, our server is reading it and sending the data to the client. And whenever client requests it, the data is available. So this way. Oh, you switched it off again, huh? Yes, sir. OK. okay. Yeah. So it now it will take maybe five minutes to change it to some other student instead of uh, now we are getting ID 10, uh, ID 6. But now we can get it for ev everybody's uh, listing. What? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I think uh, we are already off time now. So almost uh, 4.20 now. So I'll, I'll stop. Did everybody understand? So if you want, I can share with you separately the programming code also. You can study it later. So and this is the link that uh, that works and that shows the uh, data. So shall we end the class? Any, any final questions anybody is having for this particular session? Yes, yeah, sir. Can you please share the code? Uh, it will okay. be better to understand, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Later you can read it so that yes, you can. Okay. Sir, that the Python code also you told that it is in uh, drive, no, sir. I couldn't find it. Is okay. So Python code also I'll try to send it. Yes, sir. Sir, please stay back. Okay. Okay, Christian. So others can leave. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Stop recording.